Hey guys, it's Hazard1408 and this is a tutorial on how to do breaking or shattering text um, like this one I have on my desktop. I just tried to make a tutorial and it ended up being 20 minutes long so I'm shortening this one down. So what you're going to need is Cinema 4D obviously. Um, I'm just going to do my render settings very quickly. 1280 by 720. Um, Thrasy is a free plugin and you can download it. I'll put a link in the description for it. So I'm just doing this quick time movie as um, I'm on a Mac and just saving it as text break uh, YouTube my desktop. Um, so what you're gonna need is first you should put some text down. Um, I'm gonna put this one as text fine. Change the font to I'm gonna change it to a big blocky font called Reboard. Uh, change it to whichever one you want. I'm gonna space out the text a bit more and make the depth 80, uh, 100. It looks nicer. So here I'm gonna put um, copy of the text, Control C, Control V, or Map Command, and I'll put test, test. So I'm gonna put the text for. I'm just gonna move up a bit, move along. Just see, have it like sitting on top of the of the text as like much as you can without it merging. Ah, uh, this is good. So I'm just gonna save this quickly as YouTube YT. So this is what I've got so far. Ah, uh, so what I wanted you to do is add a plane and change the width segments to one. Doesn't really matter, but that's how I like it. And add two zeros to this, make it very big. Um, then new material, new material, make one material, make it greyish with a bit of. Actually, I'm just gonna make it grey. Add some diffusion, add spacement, which make it darker. Add an environment if you want with the sameish kind of color. Then on reflection, do texture for now. It's very good. Changing the mix strength to about 26. So I'm putting it on. Oh, this should look quite nice. Let's see. Ah, it's too much reflection. Mix strength uh, 10. Ugh, this is horrible. Reflection. Okay, what I'm going to do to kind of diffuse the reflection. Oh, I want you to do this anyway, but I'm adding light. I was going to show you in a second. Add it up fairly high. Uh, yeah, this looks nice. Um, I'm going to change it because I'm going to make this look as realistic as possible. Change it to a bit of a, a bit of an orangey color, but not much, else it will ruin it. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to put a light. Uh, I don't think you need a light on the back actually. Well, I'll just try quickly. I think you can. It looks sometimes nice if you have one on the back, just making it look a bit better. I don't see the point really. Now that ruins it. Okay, take that off. So this is what we've got so far. What I want you to do is go on plane, right click. On PCs, um, it would be under MoGraph tags and it would say dynamic body, I think, which I want you to click. But on, uh, actually, um, I think that's just the previous version of Cinema 4D, but on this version, which is, I think, R12 and R13, you need to go on simulation tags and click rigid body, and you need to do this on both of the Motex as well. So just click them both, like shift um, and rigid body on both of them. So what this will do is that they will, um, they're, they're hard objects now, so that when they fall or when they shatter, they won't go through the floor. So it looks quite nice. So now for the other texture, the other material, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make it. I don't know if I should make it look realistic or not on this, like, I might just make it look fun. Um, I'm going to go colour. You can use textures if you want. Uh, I'll just make it a nice colour, just because I think it looks better than that. Take specular. Uh, uh, specular, I'm going to leave one for now. You can make it either look realistic or uh, kind of do for now, just because it looks nice. You can either look, make it look realistic or... It just to be honest, it looks stupid. 
Look, so I'm gonna make it look stupid. Drag the material on. That's what it's gonna look like. Oh, I don't like it too much. Yeah, I'm gonna make it look realistic, I decided. Okay, so take off reflections, okay. Uh, take off reflection, take off displacement. Color, I'm changing it to uh, dark gray, orange. And you can find textures just by searching on Google, searching the word concrete. This is one of the textures that comes up. And it's also my GFX pack. I'm going to press on this one. It's open, press no, no search path. And that looks good. So I'm going to drag that onto the text. Oh, oh there I have it. It's fine. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold shift on both of them, right click and fit to region because it won't go over the front of the text otherwise and drag this box around it so now it has the texture on the front of the text which makes it look nicer I'm going to add a light on the back I decided that it's, it's not nice put it on bat, low intensity and zoom out uh, I don't know if this looks better or not but I'm probably just going to keep it anyway Move it across to the right. Just kind of fill out the whole text. Okay, this looks better. Okay, so now the way to make it shatter is with the plugin called Drowsy. Um, you hold shift and click on both of these. Motex, go to plugins, Drowsy. Um, and this is the menu that pops up. This is the only one you need. Two pieces. If your computer is slow, I'd recommend putting it to 20. Uh, actually, that's what I'm going to do. It looks good. So press break now. So as you see, it breaks the text. And it's quite fast on my computer. I don't know how fast it will be on yours. But it's worth it. So just wait a few seconds. And it, now it is done. So now what will happen is that if you have... Uh, as you start, it won't do anything. So what you've got to do is... Click on the X, the red X, on all of the pieces here. <laughs> uh, sorry, I've got a cold. And now if you press play, it should shatter. Like so. But what I want to do is make it so that the top text shatters first, which is very simple. So select the bottom text, which is the on mine. It's these four letters to so hold shift and click on. So the bottom letters of yours, if you have the bottom ones, go on dynamics and change trigger to on collision. And keyframe, you can press right click animation and keyframe on a Mac, you press command, press that little circle and it goes red. So now it's not very noticeable, but it hurts. Uh, it looks better so that the top text falls first and it crushes the next text so it looks nicer. And then also if you want your text to be shown beforehand, um, so to keyframe it basically, you select all the text, you go to keyframe zero, and you go to dynamic, off, and may add a keyframe, so like right click add keyframe or something. I'm going to go to keyframe 30, dynamic, on, add a keyframe, and now what should happen is that it waits a bit and then breaks, like so. Um, so it looks quite good already and in my video I showed that you can reverse it I did that with video software but you can also do that very nicely on Cinema 4D so go to keyframe 100 I think that's probably what we want, wait just play and make sure it falls by 100 um yeah like 100 uh, and I'm going to Okay, 120 I'm going to go on. Make sure you've got all of these selected, all the pieces. Go to dynamic, off again, add a keyframe. I can come on, circle, or um, right clicking, press add keyframe. And now what should happen is actually change the transition time to 80 because I've got 80 frames left. Actually, I'll change it. Uh, yeah, that's good. So I'll go to the beginning and I press this, then it should break very nicely. And then as it gets to 120, it will reverse like so and that gives a very nice effect if you want to make an intro for someone or whatever and it you can it looks very nice 
and something else you can do is that you can um, go into settings and add a cell renderer sorry effects cell renderer uh, you can add edges whatever but it doesn't look as nice as it like it, it makes it look a bit realistic so if I go this then it looks quite nice but because the pieces will break so I'll leave it like that actually yeah uh, add ambient occlusion global illumination change the settings because it's uh I'll just make it see what it looks like. Now I'm taking off global illumination, and it should look quite nice. Um, you can do whatever you want, like in regards to colors and everything. But this is the way I like it to be. Make sure you do the materials on the text first before you do anything else. And also, if you saw my video, I used a Lightroom for mine from Grayscale. Gorilla, I think it is from one of his Lightrooms, which they cost. But I might put up a download for like very nice Lightrooms, which actually work. I've got some Lightrooms which I'm gonna release for 4K. Um, as like a pack. Um, if you want the template to one of these intros, I've got. If I just save this, I've got very nice ones already here. Um, I could give you these files if you really want. So this one's a very simple one, which ended up very well. It's my first attempt. At any of this colors red and blue they work very well I could, I could release this on a download uh, if you want me to and I think this one is probably the one that turned out the best for me even though it doesn't look like realistic textures I think it looks very nice so this is the one I probably like the most out of all of mine um so thank you very much for watching this has been Hazard1408 please like comment and subscribe I'll be doing more of these and yeah, um, I hope you learned from this. And if you want me to give you download links or anything, apart from Tower because I'm going to do that already, please just don't be afraid to comment and tell me. Thanks. Bye.